and has turned out to pay respect to a murdered workmate. As Kate Corcoran reports now, it was a sign of solidarity and a sign of changing times, violent times. We are backed up right now, so I can say that... Molly blocked cops. Okay, well, I cannot guarantee a time okay, call today. Okay, we'll do our best for you. We are a little backed up right now, and uh, may I have your name? They don't make a lot of money, but every hour means a few more bucks in their pockets. In memory of John McKechnie, their pockets for today anyway are less than full. Taxi drivers from throughout the Lower Mainland chose to remember a veteran cabbie instead of working. For 15 years, John McKechnie drove the streets of Vancouver, always at night. He was a big man, said he could take care of himself. Last week, he was gunned down, a bullet to his head. And yet the driver still had $40 in his pocket. East Vancouver residents heard three shots, but no one saw anything. Taxi drivers have raised $50,000 in reward money. They're hoping someone's memory will be jarred. She walked into the office at 19 with a class four license and said, I want to drive cab. Did you give him a job? He put him on Clyde McKinnon's car, uh -huh. car 53 at Dow Cabs. He was uh, one of the guys that, that would go out and help anybody. I remember him one in Graveyard, volunteering to go from the Bayshore to 57th at night to give another car a jump. This guy was always around. Anytime somebody needed something, he would go help him. John loved the city of Vancouver. He often referred to it at, as his town. And he liked professional driving so that he could show it off to others. The family tells me that John knew the history of most of the buildings in the downtown of this city, and he knew at least three different routes to get to any address here. He didn't like the way things were turning. I mean, Vancouver's turning into a pretty rough town. Mm -hmm. And he didn't like it. He wanted to get out of it. And he got out of it. And money problems put him back in. How long had he been back, back driving for then? About four days. That's it. That's it. It used to be a lot of fun driving cab. I started in the early 70s and uh, driven off and on for years. And it used to be a lot of fun there. It's just too damn dangerous now. And this sort of thing's going on all the time. Drivers being beaten up and drivers in trouble. Uh, it's not uncommon to have two, three cars in trouble at the same time. McKechnie loved to drive, like the rest of these cabbies. But even he'd started to fear his passengers. And that's the underlying reason for the incredible driver turnout. They want their passengers to know just how tough it's become on the night shift. It's ironic that it takes a, a tragedy to get people to move. And hopefully uh, they'll legislate the safety shields and make it a, a, lot better, a lot safer situation for everybody. Is it really only a matter of time before we see these petitions come in? The way this city seems to be growing, yes. I, I think that uh, the petitions are going to start, are, are going to start coming in, and uh, that basically will, will cut out the the one-to-one -one relationship between the the driver and the passenger. There were 600 cabbies in the procession, a silent tribute to a longtime driver who will be remembered for his kindness. His murder will be remembered another way. Any sense of security that still existed with drivers has now disappeared. And after the break, questions about safety on our ferries. And, uh